assistants Nick and Joe A surgeon reporter of his drone For the cassette that is on the home But in the meantime The play the greatest clips they It's Joe's birthday episode. I think you guys were all going to say happy birthday, Joe, at the beginning. Uh, No, generally we don't sing on this show, but uh, happy birthday anyway. It's my birthday episode. Welcome to VCR Party, the show where we watch VHS tapes. We have 11,000 here. We're trying to watch all of them, except today. Today is very special because it's my birthday. And, uh, oh, we're getting, this is always the fun episode, isn't it? This is always the fun one where. (laughs) No, this is the one I look forward to least all year because there's always some sort of, instead of us being able to just buy you a nice gift and you enjoying that. I don't want things. I don't want stuff. insist on tormenting us. It's not tormenting. It's entertaining me. It's like I'm the king. I'm the king and you're all the jesters. Those are exclusive things. Why don't we, why do we have to broadcast it then? Why can't, what? Why can't we just That's show even to you? better. That's even more humiliating. That's because uh, mm-hmm. you have to do it in front of people. Um, okay, so you guys did bring some gifts to me. I see two gifts sitting here. Steve, uh, your yours must not have uh, arrived yet. But uh, George and Nick, we I think talked you last guys... week. Mine is my gift would be. Oh, okay. Mine is. I'm going to be showing you mine. Oh, you're showing. It? Okay, I see. Yeah, I don't know what you've here. got over there. Those I don't are know. both for me. Yeah. Okay, those are both Nick gifts. Um, Nick gifts. Um, <laughs> all right, so we're we're going to open up gifts. We're going to have a discussion later about how these guys are going to humiliate themselves for me on my birthday. Uh, but first, let's get into a found footage festival classic. You caught me with my pants down, but no one sells carpenter waterbeds for less. You request this one every year. It's our least popular video on our website. And uh, we watched it last Thursday in anticipation of your birthday with our buddy JC for, for people who support us on Patreon that can watch that. But it's Dr. Sternholm. Yep, this is a birthday tradition here at VCR Party. And, you know, I have two versions. Like, yeah, JC cut down a, a shorter version that was like two minutes long. And then I cut down like a 35-second version, but we're going to do the two-minute version. It's my oh. birthday. So, so yeah, this is some weird video that we don't even know the story behind. Uh, this guy is like in his doctor's office, and he's uh, interviewing people. And he has a little um, uh, remote control that he calls a sender. And we have no idea... W- what's going on here so uh here now birthday tradition dr sternholm so uh, that's the, the point All okay right. thanks again steve All appreciate right. it uh-huh. starts off with a bang yep i'm dr sternholm i'll let you hold this picture with me and uh Let's see if we can zero that camera in on that one, maybe shift it my way to get out of the letters here. And I'll uh, just let you both sit tight and we'll just fade out here, okay? Thanks, Thanks to Thanks. both of you. Uh-huh. They say that so we can... And what, what is he doing? Why is he keeping it going? Hello, I'm Dr. Sternholm. And uh, I'll just pick up my little sender here. This one's little thing is so small, I'll, I'm constantly dropping it. So if you'll sit tight for just a minute. We'll, it's like an uh, Apple TV in, remote. Uh, Wait, why is she dressed as Columbo? <laughs> hey, just one more thing, Dr. Sherholm. <laughs> uh... In order to uh, get someone to be able to. Oh, I love the trail off. The trail off is classic. Here we go. To uh, get someone to be able to. Thank you. That man is tan. Good morning. I'm Dr. Sternholm. Let me take away the... Uh, isn't that beautiful? Now, she knew I had a herd of buffalo. Sit tight here for just a minute, okay? Mm-hmm. What, what if your doctor did this every time you visited him? And this is Connie and her daughter, Ashley. I'll see. Stand in front of the x-ray wall. <laughs> Watch her expression. <laughs> what happened? What, what was Dr. Sternholm doing with her daughter? What, what happened? Is she, like, raised her... Almost yeah. drop her or something. <laughs> Just a minute here. Oh. It's a wow. work of art. 
it's a work of art and it deserves more than 78 views on our YouTube channel. Oh boy. Yep. It's birthday time. off to a tedious start already. Exactly. Exactly. Um, what, before we get into this discussion here about what you guys are going to do for me, Steve, who are you selling out to this week? I'm selling out to Joe's birthday. Uh, Love it. I let Joe know that, uh, <laughs> I asked Joe what he would like me to put behind him, and he said, oh, the Plunkett picture, please, and yep. make sure you're nice and big in frame. So I, uh, happy birthday, Joe, and once again, if you have any uh, requests, send them to info at foundfootagefest.com. I'll sell out for anyone. You, you know what I should have? I should have said I wanted a, a Carl Strauss hat. That's what I should have said I wanted. Yeah, do you still have that Carl? You can do some Steve uh, cosplaying. Yeah. I don't do you... believe so. I think that that one got lost in some moves. Oh, that's too bad. Who is Carl Strauss? There's a brewery out in, I think, San Diego. Uh, it's definitely in California, but yeah, they have okay. a brewery out there. Okay, no further I questions. I believe uh, Bob Hedges has gone there. I could be wrong about this. Not- <laughs> <laughs> Seems like something that our viewer Bob would do. Uh, okay, before we get into Okay, so for my birthday every year, Nick, has you've always done something fantastic. I think the first one ever on VCR Party, you put two rejuveniques the rejuvenic face mask, which you hook up to a nine volt battery and you put gel on and you put it on your face. You're supposed to exercise your face. Nick, you took two of them and you put them on each uh, butt cheek mm-hmm. and we taped it to you. And I got to zap you like, I don't know, 44 times, 43 times or something like that. And you were in genuine pain for that one, weren't you? Yeah. And not even from the electricity. It was just the probes were digging in to my ass the entire episode. Like I'm sitting on the masks and yeah. uh, it was not comfortable. You did another one where you, um, I wanted you to put 45 pound weights like the Chinese uh, <laughs> lovemaking secrets uh, on your dong and then have them swing throughout. And you did that too. I remember you did that. Was that last year's? Yeah, very painful. Yeah. Last year's one. But the one, the best one of all time was when you took a piece of Batman cereal, which Batman cereal, we use that as a uh, punishment on the show. If you say something wrong or incorrect, and Nick does that frequently. And he, uh, instead of uh, ingesting it uh, orally, he ingested it rectally. And I gave you options on that birthday. I was like, you can do this, that, or the other thing, or you can put this Batman cereal up your rectum. And you opted for that. Yeah, that was the lesser of the evils that you were suggesting that that year. And so, yeah, I did that. It was a not only a career low point for me, not only a low point <laughs> for this show, but just in my life in general. <laughs> Really? I, I was going to say, I thought it was like a, a classic moment. It was like when uh, like JR got shot in Dallas. I think that there was like a... Uh, it was where a moment where even Nick... our, <laughs> it was, it was even our most ardent fans were like, that's a little too far for me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you make with the funny VHS clips. Can we get to, back to those? That kind of thing. A lot I, I of our viewers re- just want the funny videos. I know. I, rem- I actually remember uh, like questioning it while it was actually <laughs> happening. Um, but George, did you? What, what are your memories of that? Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> I don't know that we this need to for some reason have a you visual. Agreed to take an apology pill, a Batman apology pill, but you would use it as a suppository. It was the least it... of like three bad options. This is what it looks like. It's... But it'll fit. I've tied some floss to a yeah. Batman symbol oh, so yeah. that I can retrieve it. So I have my lube and my cereal here. I have a rubber glove here. Okay. Oh, and. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So my pants are now around my knees. Oh, this is bad. Really? It's really dry. Get it up there. Get oh. It. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I remember that. I remember all these parts. Yeah. <laughs> Chaka went into my it's ass. Staying. You can see there's lube on my hands here. I Our was right about see. general discomfort. It's, it's, I can feel, it's kind of like having to poop. It's like, oh really? Yeah. It's and I'm gonna feel like that for the next, uh, I don't know, 40 minutes. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I, I was so distracted that I used my non-gloved hand to do it. <laughs> 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 that was worse than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. So uh, of memories. I mean, so I put Rocket Man, Nick's least favorite yeah, I song, underneath. That. Yeah, I don't, oh, know that because... you, I don't know that you need to pile onto this, George. You could have oh, pile on. I, I, I requested this. I requested this uh, earlier this week. So, oh, yeah. uh, Nick, you can never run for office now. That's it. I mean, 
damn it. I, I think in, in politics, think politicians, think, yeah. things have changed. I think you can get away with a lot in politics, but not putting cereal up your butt. You can't do that. Well, Nobody's new cereal, no, that. but vintage cereal, I think that's uh, a different yeah, story. That's true. Maybe you could get away with it. Yeah, Nick, you should run for alderman. Yeah, my my dreams of being comptroller are gone. Uh, not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so let's discuss what we're going to do. So what we talked about last week was that everybody will smoke pot since it's it's legal in New York City, and we're all adults here. We're all consenting adults. I thought it would be funny to have you guys all smoke pot, and then and then uh, I get to play my IMGs because I'm playing IMG of the year today. I'm going to play all my favorites uh, from the last year, 2022. And uh, just to see you guys giggly or paranoid or however you guys react to the to the to to the pot. Um, so what do you think? Are, are we all going to smoke a dube? Nah. Uh, no, but uh, Steve agreed to last week. So I, I think Steve can take one for the team here. Uh, see, Steve's I, I want to see Steve do this. I definitely do. But I, you guys would be way more fun Without to see stoned. Huh? Without a doubt, they'd be more fun. I'm going to exactly. Well, I tell you what I'll do. I got this uh, bar of CBD soap. Now, I think this thing, I don't know what this is going to do to me, but at some point during the show, I will wash my face and arms with this. Will you we'll shove it up see. your butt? Will you shove it up your butt? <laughs> All right. Let's get the lube back out. Let's do it. Is, is it Anderson nearby? Let's get him over what, here. Um, what is the reason that you don't want to smoke pot on the show? I am not. Uh, I, I just don't. It's not a drug that I'm a fan of or want to promote. Or be associated with. We're not promoting it. We're just being like it's a stunt. It's like a, it's not like we're every week we're like, hey, smoke dubs, kids. We don't we don't do that. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, uh, I would just rather not do it on air and try to host a show. George, what's your excuse? Oh well, I did something else. I inserted um, alien autopsy fact or fiction <laughs> in my ass, and uh, I've had up so far, and it's going back in. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. So you just removed it from. Just yeah. There. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that sound, that sound effect there. That yeah. What what what? So what is you just you got me presents like that's that that'll be the sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, again, you complained bought... last year when I got Nick something that was non-trivial, and and so you said you wanted money spent, and uh, so I had to do that. I don't I don't remember that at all. But what one idea I had earlier this year, and I just remembered it today, Nick. This this is something you could have done. Do you remember uh, you're in good health? Yeah. The, the video, the the documentary about people who drink their own pee and uh, use yeah. pee. Oh, well, so <laughs> what's your idea? <laughs> I'm all you, you remember when we watched it? Uh, we watched it. I think. Uh, as an EP last summer or something. And do you remember this particular scene here where they're talking about the different urine products that you can, that you no. can use? The uh, you're a fun was the, <laughs> was the name of the brand. Good logo. Uh, so, but remember, if you this. have a burn area and you put it into a glove, the you're a feet. I wanted to get you your feet <laughs> that you can soak your feet in your own urine. <laughs> if you're, that... if you're like an elf, apparently, or like a, or a prince or a prince, <laughs> I should have, I, when I had that idea, I should have immediately bought the Euro feet. So you, mm -hmm. you, would you do, would you have done that for my birthday? Yeah, yeah, I would. I mean, I've peed at myself at other occasions. So I think that would be just, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. sure. I'd be, and, and, I'd be a urine elf. And that, and that sentence doesn't require any more explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think, uh, yeah, I'm not legally allowed to give anything away on that, but. Um, okay, but maybe like, since you're not doing anything for this birthday, maybe like. Well, next week we have a big episode. Maybe two weeks from now, if I order a Eurofeet, would you soak your feet in your feet? Order the Eurofeet COD. I think it takes four to six weeks for delivery. And then, uh, yeah, we'll okay. see what happens when they arrive. Okay. All right. So stay tuned, everybody. I know you're disappointed. Okay. You want to see Nick smoke pot. Uh, he let us all down. George did too. But Steve, you're going you're gonna to do it. Oh, I'll, I'll play the court jester this week. I think uh, <laughs> Nick's taken more than his hits in the past and i know probably most people like smoking weed is not a big deal i just never ever do it and even when i did do it it would be at the end of the night because i get so self-conscious and just you know like if i'm listening to music and no one's i'm not interacting with people fine but even then when i smoked i couldn't do it around people and everything like that so i can only imagine what a shit show this is gonna be yeah i don't react well to it either that's why i just like get inside my own head and it's not fun for me but um but how are you gonna do it you're not gonna you're not gonna. Are you gonna go outside? You gotta go I, outside. I've got you're... to. So I've okay. got to, and 
you know, 90% of the time, it's an amazing thing living in a uh, doorman building. They can get the packages when you're not there, everything like that. But now I'm going to walk outside for roughly 30 seconds and just come back reeking with weed. <laughs> and, you know, he's going to think I have do, some sort of... Do, do you know the doorman? Are you friends with him? I mean, like, would, yeah, friendly? I know the doorman. Yeah, I'm friendly with him, yes. Okay. I mean, well, there's, Steve, there's, there's, there's I, I have... I happen to know that a lot of our viewers do – well, maybe not a lot, but a few have reported that they get stoned and watch our shows. So you will be in good company I love uh, it. on tonight's episode. I, I, I'd much rather I'd be stoned and just watching and not have <laughs> it to interact and have and what people you, ask me questions. And, oh, what do you got? You're not doing like an edible – no, obviously you're not doing an edible. Like, no, uh, I, have a, you... uh, I had a friend uh, give me a joint. I have no idea the um, – potency what it, of it so what it's laced it, with or it, yeah exactly. all right are you, being, are you gonna uh, are you gonna really smoke the whole thing a little crazy no okay but you're gonna no. take some big hits off of it right are you gonna go I do will, that right now and then I'm we'll like edit a, okay go ahead yeah so i i am weed lightweight i think i said that last week so i am gonna go down there and do more than i feel comfortable doing and then come back up here okay great all right we'll edit this part out do you want to go now all right all right, all right here we go Steve might take a while if he has to talk to the doorman. Should we? Uh... <laughs> yeah, why don't I show? Uh, let's get to this week in Scimitar. Well, last week I played the first part of this Music Land Sam Goody discount records. Um, uh, video promotional reel that was from our, our favorite uh, production company for special interest videos. And uh, they just have tons of varieties of videos that don't really fall into the normal categories. People rent, you could buy these. So uh, here's uh, here's this week's installment. The Music Land Group is proud to present the Scimitar Video Sample Reel. See highlights from a few of the great special interest videos from Scimitar Entertainment. All available now at any Music Land, Sam Goody, or Discount Record Shop store. Lifted. Pick shop up your pen and make a list. Didn't shop Scimitar lift. Entertainment is about to show you a few of their best. Yeah. Now we have this one in the office. Karate Rock. Yes. It's karate to generic sounding rock music. I think this is the Mannheim Steamrollers. <laughs> Christmas kicks. <laughs> that's that's what you always imagine karate to be. And then once you actually get there, it's like, oh. Yes. Oh, we have this one, don't we? Yes. Yeah, we do. Babes! $110! The best birthday ever! Yeah. Funny Jakester would like this tape. Probably had it. <laughs> 100 great air show accidents. The Musicland Group hopes you enjoyed this sample video reel. Now take your list of great Scimitar releases and head over to your local Musicland, Sam Goody, or Discount Record store. We'll have those movie releases and more in stock and Should at a great price. Should we get Karate Rock in, in stock at all? all right. They're the best. Scimitar. They are the, the OGs of the VHS world. And uh, if you want a Scimitar shirt, you can order one at uh, foundfootagefest.com. We uh, are selling them uh, bootleg versions of the Scimitar t-shirts. Yes, yeah, Scimitar doesn't exist anymore, except in our hearts. Um, and on our shirts. Yes. Yep. Uh, I picked out some special flying windows. No, no Steve yet? Still not back. I'm, He's so we, high, he might have gotten lost. I know. Should we, we be, should we be worried? I hope he I'm comes always in worried. the middle of flying windows. That's my hope. Okay. <laughs> Here's the intro. I 
picked these out special for your birthday, Joe, uh, because they're tedious and these were sent in by Farmer Dan. Mm. It's from a video that I don't know if this is his name or if this is uh, just what it's called, but it's called Farm Tape 93. That's a weird flying window. It it's looks a very like it's amateur. In, in, yeah, I think it's an in-camera flying window from a zoom. What the hell's going on That's with okay. this flying window? Oh, look at that mud. That's all. That was it. That was a flying window. That okay, I like yeah. it. I've never seen a flying window like this. Subtle. Yeah. An in-camera a... flying window and uh, of his dog. And... It was like Sasquatch, sort of like a flying window sneaking across the screen. Yeah, uh, I liked it. It was an unusual one. No border. Um, well, you know, Farmer Dan, he knows me all too well. He actually gave me this uh, Running Wild shirt uh, when we were doing a show at Arlington Draft House. And uh, I'm going to be playing a video that he made for me, especially for my birthday. It's an hour long video. We're not oh. going to watch the whole thing, but oh. I'm going to watch the whole thing when I get home tonight. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. OK, cool. Thanks to Farmer Dan for all the great content. Um, now, what about Steve? Is he is he having to explain to his doorman why he's normally not a pot smoker, but he's has a poorly rolled joint right now? Uh, it, maybe he's getting evicted from uh, his apartment because you're not allowed to do that. I think he doesn't know how to use the elevator anymore. Oh, right. He's in the basement. Awesome. Yeah. I think he is on like the 18th floor or so. So like, I don't yeah. know. Well, uh, should we start off with our raviolis and hopefully he's back by the time we get back? Well, we're never really doing rav raviolis. We're doing my IMGs of the year. Oh, do you have an intro for it? Yeah. You okay. Play it? All sure, right. Let's play that and hopefully right. he's back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Chicken shit. Video transmission. Uploaded with no intention. Harvested semi ethically. Welcome to IMG. Steve, you're back. Hello, hello. Okay. How did it go? Did the doorman yell at you, or did he? Uh, was he suspicious? There, there was no yelling, and there was a dog going out as I was coming in. That I think had his attention, but I'm sure he, he smelled me. A dog sniffing dog? A drug sniffing dog? <laughs> no, no, just one of the, my other neighbors was taking a dog out. Wait, did you say a dog sniffing dog? <laughs> I think I said a drug a drug sniffing dog. Okay. I I He's know. probably also a dog sniffing dog, though. I'm too. sure he is. Most are. Yeah. Uh, uh, Steve, what kind of? Uh, Stoner, are you? Or do you think you'll be like kind of quiet and like uh, crumpled that's up into I'm a little hoping. ball? That's what I'm hoping it does. But right now, I'm feeling great. Actually, you look so. good. Actually, you got a little pep in your step. You got a, yeah, a nice well, aura I'm, about yeah. you, and well, yeah, all everything right. Everything you say is last. funny and creative. So I think it's working. Well, Steve, we continued uh, w without you while you were gone. We showed some flying windows, and you, you can watch the episode later. I'm sure you will. Can't wait. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm digging into IMGs of the year here. So IMGs, these are the least popular videos on the internet. I have a army of IMG miners who are out there harvesting daily, sending me IMG clips. And IMGs are like, they uploaded them for some reason and they never changed the names. IMG something, something, something. And they always have like 11 views. So I'm gonna show you some of the best videos from each different category that, uh, that I've collected over the last, uh, the last year these are the best of 2022 let's start off with this category one of my favorites in congress soundtracks i love in congress soundtracks these are where you see the the video the the image and uh the soundtrack has nothing to do with it. it's a the worst possible uh soundtrack to go with these videos so this one is a uh, first one is img 4863 17 views from travis Travis said there's a little lead up, so tough it out. But what follows is some of the most romantic toilet repair you'll find anywhere. And I cut this down a little bit. All these are cut down a little bit because we got a lot to get through. So uh, thank you, Travis, for sending this one in. Here we go. on like that the guy repairs the toilet to that song for yeah. another minute and a half and uh, we'll definitely get flagged on youtube for that one so that by the way all these are contenders for img of the year that's what we're going to find that's what we're going to determine at the end we'll of, of this decide. Yeah, okay we'll all decide uh, all right next up 0866 megan sent this one megan called it awkward safety vest model with an incongruous soundtrack And 
again, it went on for way longer than that. Here's 3884. Farmer Dan, again, sent this one. Uh, he called it Upbeat Accident. Did he lock his keys in the car? I think he did. I think he did. Uh, well, do, you, do you think it's like people that don't know how to use their phones and then the, for some reason they added a soundtrack to it? Like, how did that soundtrack get on that and why did they upload it? And why, you know, it has like 11 views. I don't Any theories? About that. I mean, it must be royalty free music of some sort that, you know, they, we'll, they can't. We'll use, find out. But, yeah, we'll I've find heard out. that song before. Oh, I think but it's I think one of those it, Apple songs that they put over the, the montages of photos. Yeah. No. Oh, that, know, that maybe. could be it then. Here's one of my favorite incongruous soundtracks, 4761. Tiernan sent this one, Uplifting Forklift Course. This is a contender for, for IMG of the Year. Oh, it's a harmonica. Oh, it's a bluesy riff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of a melon camp. Other guys watching. Brooklyn driver is excellent. Yeah. Well, it's this music. It's really uh, to be played in the room diagnetically. Yeah. So so far, do you guys see any uh, clear winners, clear favorites? Steve, how you doing? I'm doing great. Um, the guy modeling vest is right now in the lead for me. Okay. It's, uh, who's in the lead for you guys so far? I got to go toilet just because it's the most incongruous, I think. It's like the most, you know, I don't know, the contrast there. I got to say, nothing's jumping out to me yet. Okay. I like it. I appreciate that. You don't have to say anything. Nobody's winning. All right, here we go. These are called shorties. Just okay. before so you wait, get to that, I, I have a question. I, yeah, go ahead, Steve. Oh. Are we grading it on which one we think the music doesn't go to the least? Or are we <laughs> grading it on which one we like the most? Good question. I don't know if you would have asked that question if you hadn't smoked pot. I don't know. Um, I would say whichever is the most incongruous. I'm going to change yeah. my answer. Oh, really? Well, I, no, I, it should be whatever one speaks to you the most, whichever one uh, is, is your favorite, whichever one you love the most. Okay. Um, I, I was right. just going to say, I, it, incongruous was spelled incorrectly in the title, but I didn't want to point it out because it's your birthday. I just The comments, I just want to acknowledge that I noticed it. But I just not saying anything about it. There's I, no apology necessary. Uh, you know what? I told I had McKenna do these uh, these titles for me, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna talk to her about it. Don't don't worry, stern Nick. I'm gonna talk to her. Stern okay. talking to. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, shorties. These are super short IMGs. First one, forty four eighty one. You can't blink with these IMGs. They they happen so quickly. Ross sent this one. Ross from St. Louis. He called it three two one action. This is a great one. Buckle up. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> <laughs> that represents everything an IMG should be, I think. I yeah. think so too. Start yeah. and yeah, to the point. Here's IMG four thousand eight. First person perspective of whizzing into a toilet. Don't look away. That's it. That was the whole video right there. That was a filthy toilet. Away. Was <laughs> it? Was. Oh, no, it was. <laughs> Steve's looking away still. That was my <laughs> least favorite. George, he set you up for that. That's exactly what he wanted you to say so he could rewind it and just leave it on there. Yeah, there are some like... He's a brilliant tactician. There's some, there's yeah, some George, poop why splash. don't you put the Rocket Man soundtrack behind that? Just for fun. <laughs> um, could that be the same toilet from the Incongruous soundtrack? That's, you know... Oh, it could be. Yeah, yeah. Related. No, th th I don't think that one had as many poop splashes on the side. Ah. So there's, uh, I'm counting like four poop splashes there. Well, you found your thumbnail. Move on. All right. Uh, well, 31, 29, Adam sent this one. A guitarist announces the band he's in now. Or he's now, the band he's now with. A guitarist announces the band he's now with. I am the guitarist for Metallica now. And I want to sing you a song. That's it. 
That was Lars Ulrich. I think uh, he's the drummer. The drummer. Yeah. Oh right. Uh, okay. James Hetfield. Started. Yeah, or uh, Kirk. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, Forty-seven ninety. Braden uh, safety demonstration thwarted by a light breeze. This is a work <laughs> of art here. Do you remember this one? Yeah. Okay. That's 29. That'll work. That's 29. Well, that'll work. <laughs> My favorite so far. <laughs> that is a good one. I knew I knew you would appreciate that one. Um, all right. 4787. Braden sent this. Uh, he called it. It's Gatorade Day and uh, said, I just like how she says Arctic Blitz. This is Mar. This is my Arctic Blitz. I'm right out of Vegas. It's hot. Mm. And it's a Gatorade day. <laughs> She's trying to get a spot. Is she like trying to be a sellout Steve there? I think so. Uh, wh what do you guys think so far? Who's the, who's the clear front runner at this point? Um, Light Breeze? Yeah, for me, yeah. yeah for okay. shorties? Yeah, I'd say Light Breeze is up there, yeah. I'm going to go with the jump and the guy jumping in front of the dinosaur. <laughs> Was that, do you think that was supposed to have been in slow motion and they like, and th th that was the uh, incorrectly done take that they didn't bother to title? I, I wondered, I thought that they were like taking like, so that they catch him when he's jumping up in the air, but they were shooting video. So yeah, maybe they, yeah. I thought it was like on the iPhone, like the cameras at one point you'd hold it down and it would take a series of fast right. photos and you'd pick the one you wanted. And then at one point they transitioned to have the default be take a video i think that might have been in that transition i see so i see. got the video that's my okay. theory okay moving on to unsettling all right these are the most unsettling imgs from the last and, but can year. i do the sound effects too uh no th that was all me okay, okay. Yep. in fact uh, i did all the other uh, titling except mckenna did do the uh the Congress. Congress. i'm still pissed off about that yeah but um all right first up we got 7988 rachel sent this Rachel said, holy moly, is this a hand? Is it a face? Is it a hace? Is it a fan? Remember this one? Remember what oh, we're yeah. about to see here? You got your ears on? All right. I just, I feel like we should call the police, right? Yeah. You see that? Yeah. And it just kind of feels like you should call the police <laughs> after that one. I hope it's art. Well, I yeah, hope to God it it's art. Did, George, didn't you track it down? Didn't you? Uh... Well, I, I found the the. Uh, I mean, I looked through the page of the of the um, the other it's uploads the upload. on the YouTube page, and there are several that are just nightmarish. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, but there's no identifying information. Um. So. Okay. The trail went cold. <laughs> it wasn't you, was it? No. Um. All right. Here we go. Moving on to an MVI. MVIs are sometimes kind of fun. Braden sent this one. Said filth warning. There's no way they're using human organs to play curling, right? <laughs> Again, do we call the police? At what point do we? Yeah. Well, gallows humor when you're working in an ER, whatever that is. IMG 0975, XA Smith sent this one, made mask. Is that a robot? I think it's a person. Ugh. Okay. Um, all right. IMG 0127 from Joe H. Man in face bandages and drawn on eyes speaks foreign language in child's bed. Wait, so I have it, no it, memory it, of that one. Did you play? Did you ever play it backward and find out what he was saying? Let me see if it does. Does it do it? No, I, no, I no, I did, and it's a different language, and so Oof. yeah, I know. I'm kind of scared to hear what. Yeah. He I actually don't said. That. I don't think I would. You don't. You don't remember that one? No. Oh. This is when Cooper was in the Black Lodge, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, last one of the unsettling. Thirty-eight oh seven. Flash sent this one. Just a normal, ordinary stroll through the woods. That's all. Remember this one? Yeah. 
This is George in the cemetery. <laughs> but this is my body shape. <laughs> and my hat. Oh, that's going to be in your nightmares. That's going to be in your nightmares. Every once in a while, I think. What, what, uh, what was your favorite of that one? Of the unsettlings? Steve's taking notes, right? I am, but now I have to so, read it back. And look, he's the one who smoked pot. You guys aren't even taking notes. Nick and George aren't even taking notes. Well, because I, I trust that my mind will retain that. Uh, <laughs> not me. Uh, what, did you have a favorite? Steve's keeping, like, memento tattoos to try to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd go with uh, the blood, the uh, organ curling. That was also the one that was the, the um, uh, most memorable. Not the fanned. Or the haste. I don't. I want to forget that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Steve, what's your favorite? Uh, I went with the the maid mask. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. We we there's a bunch of those in the IMGs. Uh, those hmm. maid style masks. Um, yeah. All right. Here we're moving on to uh, class project wraps. We only got two of these, but these are always fun. Um, let's see. IMG 2445. Evan sent this one said passionate blood clot song. Watch the passion that these, that these, uh, rappers have for the song about blood clots. Okay. We're ready. <laughs> First of all, what do you think about the framing? Does everybody like the framing of this one? That's yes, I say it again. More chair. More chair. <laughs> all right, that's your answer to everything. All right. <laughs> Fibrinogen, you can make fibrin. If I need you to, I am bleeding. I need where is thrombin now? It's an enzyme in the plasma coagulation factor too. Look, I don't bleed now. I make fibrin moves. Say I don't gotta bleed in the thrombin too. If I'm bleeding and I'm crying, that means hemostasis moves. Did you hear the person that goes, oh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the first one. He goes, oh, listen to this. Somebody said fantastic. They yeah. were... I think yeah. it was Cardi B who was like, that yeah. parody is perfect, guys. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> IFG 4671. This is the last of the class projects raps. Uh, Chris sent the solar system rap. Low effort class project. <laughs> planets of the solar system we are the planets of the solar system there are different sizes for everyone we all orbit the sun some are big and some are small some are short and some are tall we are the planets of the solar system we the are iris the doesn't know what to do so, some planets are tall I don't know. Would you describe a planet as tall? <laughs> Jupiter, certainly. It's the tallest planet. <laughs> it's a tall planet is what they call it, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, now we're going to get into Joe's favorites here. These are my top four from the year. All, all these are my favorites, but they, I just categorized some of them. What do you think, before I get into the favorites, what, do you have a clear front runner for IMG of the year, just based on what you've seen so far? Uh, my favorite one that I remember from last year hasn't been shown yet. Um, oh, it might be in my in my top four. Okay. So, uh, uh, but anything besides that that stands out? Uh, the man in the face bandages and drawn on eyes, speaking a foreign <laughs> language in a child's bed. Does that uh, well, I'm ruling resonate out, with you? Uh, I'm ruling out first person perspective of whizzing into a toilet. That's just out <laughs> completely. Um, what if that won it? <laughs> uh, it'd be a birthday to remember. I, you know, I I think uh, the toilet repair one is up there for me. The incongruous soundtrack. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, Steve, you got a clear front runner so far going into my favorites. I do, but it's not one of the ones I've mentioned. The forklift. I've just been thinking oh. about that with the music. Wow. <laughs> really, that one's really that one spoke to you. The whole, yeah, the whole the thing. Of, like, who in the world would ever put that together? <laughs> I really just been thinking about that. Wow, it spoke to you, uh, George. You got any clear front runners before we get into favorites? Um, I just wish they had shown the guy actually realizing he locked his keys in the car. Other than, then, <laughs> then, then upbeat accent would have won like nothing could beat that. That would yeah. be, um, yeah. I guess, no. uh, <laughs> yeah, solar system wrap. Solar system wrap. Yeah. Yeah. The last one. See, you got to write these down. 
Are you sure? No, no, no I'm going through. Okay. I'm going through the. Yes, okay, I did. I did for right. you. Okay. Uh, all right. Here's Joe's favorites. Um, and uh, this one I, I shopped out to McKenna. I made sure that she did this one. Everything seems to be all right with this one, right? Yep. Nick? No problem on the apostrophes. It all looks good to me. All right. Perfect. It warns you that the S is coming up. Yep. Uh, all right. First up, IMG 0869. Megan sent this one also. Megan, Megan is an all star uh, harvester. Uh, Megan called it Complete Donkey, and I love this one. And it, the first time I watched it, I was just like, eh, what, it's it's pretty good, and I showed it to you guys. But then I watched it again today, I was like, this is this is brilliant. I just love this one so much. So here's a – do you guys remember Complete Donkey? No. Okay. <laughs> Look at these idiots on this foul ball, specifically the kid in the green shirt. The ball's coming right at him, and he's trying to look and do the wave, and the guy behind him makes the catch. What a complete donkey. <laughs> Tremendous grab. Everybody else around him is doing the wave. It's embarrassing. <laughs> nice grab. Nice grab. Steve, I feel like that's like your brother-in-law or something, oh, probably, right? I, like... I have like 30 friends like that would be that exact video. <laughs> well, I just love the, I love the anger. I love uh, that he decided to record this and put it up onto YouTube, that it has nine views, and especially love Complete Donkey. Because yeah. I've never heard that as an insult before. We've got to get that it, guy in sports I'm center. from New England. I've never, ever heard that. So I've... Uh, it, I watched it's it. It's almost like... like he was trying. He wanted to say ass, but was censoring himself. Oh, okay. That was my yeah. theory. But He's just yeah. so mad at that guy having fun doing the wave that he could have caught that foul ball. What a complete donkey. I've never heard anybody other than Gordon Ramsay say that. A complete donkey? Yeah. When he's furiously angry? Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Yeah, I watched that one like six times today, and I was like, oh, it just keeps getting better. I love I love all the pauses in between him. Just you can hear the, the anger, the fumes. Uh, all right, 1861. Tad sent this one, and this squirrel is jumping on the window, and I love this one. This one's genuinely funny. This could be an AFV. Here we go. Sitting here eating breakfast, and all of a sudden, the squirrel starts jumping on the window. Kind of the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy hell. It's jumping on the window. <laughs> what the fuck is it doing? <laughs> this freaking squirrel is jumping on the window. No! <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ! You fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely enjoy that one. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. I like that I wish one he, a lot. he should open up the door, though. He should open the door. <laughs> uh, all right, Nick, I think this is the one you've been waiting for. 1489. This is from the IMGs of Terror that I showed on Halloween. Uh, Nico sent this one. Uh, Nico called this one, Say Hello to Baby Goo Goo. Yes. Is this the one you were talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lola. Hi, Luciana. Hi, Mia. I'd like you to see Baby Goo Goo. Baby Goo Goo's gonna do her song for you today. Okay, you ready for some fun? Okay, here we go. Baby Goo Goo's gonna start the music. Baby Goo Goo's gonna start the music. Here's a <laughs> pop quiz before we get into the song. Who are the three people she's making this video for? Pop quiz. Uh, her husband, her. No, it's son, all her names. Clergyman. Oh, it's I... all names. Yeah, uh, it's uh, Luciana, Rebop. Rebop and Mia, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Luciana's watching this right now. Here we go. I mean, yeah, give her the ten thousand dollars. That's uh, you're not gonna get anything better. Oh, I bet Luciana loved that. Luciana was uh, like, more, more, more. Um, all right, going into the last one here. Uh, forty-four fifty-nine. Brad sent this one. Uh, it's called "I Love My Third Tooth." This is this is <laughs> what I'm voting for. This is my number one. I love my third tooth. Do you guys remember I love my third yeah. tooth at all? <laughs> Nick, you remember George? Yeah. You remember I love my third. I don't. Tooth? Okay, all right. 
it's a short it's a actually, technically it's a shorty but uh it gets a lot done in this like seven seconds here we go one two three i love, I love my, my third, third two. two let's get one more time in unison and i'll go one two three ready one two three i, I love, love my third two, two. There we go. There's your best for 2022. Wow. So many good ones. Here and I am. Got to sleep. So here's how it's going to work. So you guys will all tell me who you think the winner should be. And we can we can quickly debate uh, who the winner should be. And then and then I will ultimately decide because I'm the birthday boy and uh, IMGs are kind of my thing. So uh, right, if you let me, make let me get it out of the way. Uh, baby Goo Goo, I earmarked it at the time you played it. I'm like, contest is over. This is IMG of the year. Let's stop playing them. Let's retire. And uh, what do you so, like about it? I mean, there's a puppet involved. The mm -hmm. song that she plays seems like it's her, but on a recording, it's kind of quiet. She sings along with it. Um, the song is is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. a yeah. baby it has the baby voice about I thought fall fell out of my quib and things like that, <laughs> and the puppet itself is just homemade in a way that it's delightful. So why didn't for your birthday you get Nick to do a, an entire episode with a baby voice? <gasps> oh, because Write just hearing him him say that was uh, it'd be way too distracting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to put $500 a month into the Patreon if Nick does that. All right. Let's do it. Um uh, we got to write down all these things cuz I only think about these things like on the day of my birthday. I never think of them in advance. So, uh, write that down, George. Uh George, what do you think? What's uh who's your winner? Okay. So, I, as an IMG, I still am going to go with safety demonstration thwarted by a light breeze, not because it's the funniest. The funniest is uh I think I love my third tooth. Um, but, uh, but but that's what like this is what an IMG is something that's not intended to be uploaded and I think at the end of that the guys are trying to talk through it as though like it wasn't a mistake like the guys are sort of like oh yeah that's fine or something like that oh right a fuck up didn't happen but it did yeah exactly when, when they're um, like yep that's 29 it should be good right you know, IMGs yeah. are shameful and that includes shame so yeah yep and you got a little blooper in there and you got a head falling off of a mannequin and uh, a blooper yeah. You get a bloop. Steve, talk to us. I, I went, you know, all around. I was, but I think I'm going to stick with uh, forklift. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. You're making this tough on me. Oh, man. Well, uh, so it's a, it's a far away tie. But you know what? Uh, the fact that Say Hello to Baby Goo Goo is my number two and Nick has it as his number one, I'm going to declare <laughs> uh, Baby Goo Goo yes. to be the winner uh, this year. Uh, so congratulations, Luciana, Mia, and uh, <laughs> Baby Goo Goo, <laughs> Baby Goo Goo himself uh, for uh, winning. So uh, and maybe, maybe that's maybe that's the uh, video that we should go out on at the end of uh, or, or the song that we should go out on today. Her her rendition of Baby. I Goo. think it deserves its place. It's like putting its jersey up in the rafters to retire it. It's Goo 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 Goo. Yeah, I yep. think that's it. Um, right. And that, so I did one bonus one. I thought I'd do like the first IMG of 2023 uh, just to kick things off. And I found this one that's IMG 2023. And I call it Bored Kids at Church with YouTube in the background. God lets us go through certain things. You see the bored certain, kid in the front? Certain things in our lives. Also, do you, do you need the God thing on the wall if you have the crucifix already right next to it? Seems a little yeah. redundant. Like, well, no, it depends if you Trinity. think, yeah, if Jesus and God are the same guy. I don't yeah, know. Okay. Well, do you see the bored kid up in the front pew all to himself? Yeah. Right. There? And all you kids see are you... bored at church. <laughs> do you see the YouTube is up on the projector there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Watch. There's going to be a new bored kid. So that oh. we rely on him to come to him. Fidgety. And after a while, they're going through these things the all right, so there we go, kicking 2023 off strong. Yes. With uh, that IMG from IMG 2023. Good batch right. of uh, yeah, but there's some unfinished business from 2022 left to do, and that is to name the cyber video of the year. Let's do it. Well, 
I think the way that we do this is that we each show our favorite from the year, and then we come to a consensus on what our cyber video of the year is. This is another one that I earmarked early on that uh, Video Poison on Instagram posted a clip, and uh, I have an update about it, but it's it's short, but it just has everything I look for in a cyber video. Most exciting things I think right now in my life is that I started oh, yes. um, doing interior decorating, and <laughs> it's something I've wanted to do for a very long time. I've always had excellent taste, so. Um, I've always had excellent taste, I've so. I've always enjoyed working with colors and, and prints and just everything, but to get paid for it is even better. In Congress soundtrack? <laughs> that might be Congress. Just <laughs> <laughs> to pan. Do you yeah. think maybe she works at the Clown Museum in Nebraska? Do you think uh, that's, that's, that's a... what I'm hoping. I mean, uh, maybe there's elderly volunteers and then that lingerie lady. Um, I'm do you know hoping. What, do you know what that video is? Like, is yeah, there anything... so that's the update. I reached okay. out to Video Poison. I don't know the person's actual name who runs that, but um, said that the actual name uh, said, good luck finding it. The name of it is called Erotic Women. So that's the name of the video, and try putting that into a search bar. You're going to come up with some interesting <laughs> things, but not a VHS tape uh, called that, uh, in, at least in my searching so far. So I got all my Google alerts for that, and that's a, an entertaining email every day, but no hits in terms of tracking down the actual VHS tape. And Video Poison uh, themselves doesn't know where the actual tape is. They just captured a bunch of stuff, and then, you know, that, that wow. was it. So, so they don't yeah. actually have the tape. They might, but who knows? So yeah. Yeah, right now, I want more of those. We it's, got a new white whale. So, <laughs> all right, add it to the list. Um, Steve, what do you got? I got a um, the jock sham where um, the man, the baseball manager, uh, Tommy Lasorda, and I forget the pitcher's name, uh, saying that Oral Hershiser. No, Oral Hershiser. Hershiser. Oh. Well, well, it's not him, but we'll see it together. <laughs> We want to wish Hannah and Barbara a happy 50th anniversary. Flintstone, me the Flintstone, they're the modern Stone Age family. From the town of Bedrock, they're a page right out of history. La da dee da, la da dee da, la da dee da da. Have a yabba dabba do time. A dabba do time. time. You'll have, have a gay, gay time. Happy anniversary! 50th anniversary. 50th year to Hannah and Barbarian. <laughs> Barbarian. I do not need a second take. That's it for first. Oh, that is a, a great. I forgot have about a that. Gay time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great one. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely a contender for Cyber Video of the Year. Yeah. Oh. George, what about you, though? What did you pick out? Well, Nick, you were the one who uh, brought this one to everyone's attention. This was from episode 204, a great episode. Um, this was a clip you found, or I'm not sure where it came from, but it was somebody who um, shows their uh, restoration of, elect of electronics, I guess, on YouTube. And this uh, was, I guess, a straightforward restoration of the 1947... Uh, Yes, 1947 Sonora Radio Phonograph. Um, and then it sort of took a detour that none of us expected. And I laughed during this so hard I cried. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Now you're looking at a Sonora model WBRU-239. As you can see, there's a radio there. But it's not only a radio. It's a radio and a record player. To improve performance, I'm going to go ahead and change out all these wax caps. See them here. Turn this on. Pretty normal so far. I don't remember any of this. That sounds better, doesn't it? Betty White died last month at the age of 99. Now, I haven't met many celebrities in my life, but I had the pleasure of meeting Betty back in 1987. I lived in Los Angeles at that time, and every year, the LA Zoo would have a photo contest. 
being photo nuts, wifey and I entered. And that's the picture I took. What? I didn't win any major prizes. I was an honorable mention. So the selected winners were invited to the zoo for the awards ceremony. And Betty was there to meet the winners. Well, we were there a bit early and I saw Betty looking at the winning pictures. So I walked over to her to say hi. I showed her the picture I had taken and she thought it was great. I told her, I just got lucky with that one. And she said, ah, oh, you're so modest. <laughs> I asked Betty if I could take a picture of her with Wifey. Well, she said sure. So here's the picture I took with Wifey looking all embarrassed. <laughs> Unlike Buzz, I never met Betty White. But seven years ago, I came pretty close. Watch my efforts trying to woo her. Oh, Betty, we would have made a great couple. Oh. Life with Elizabeth. Va, 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 boom. I'm gonna send a letter to her. Dear Betty, I love you. I love you. I love you. Good night, my Betty. I won't be able to make love to that wonderful, beautiful body of yours. I'm just heartbroken. Oh, my precious. Here's my proposition. My best friend, Oko, is in love with you, and she wants to marry you. You don't want me, what the but hell's I'll going take on? your friend. Farewell, my Betty. <laughs> what? Okay, Blondie. I'll give you one more chance. Please come back to me. Please, Blondie. Please. You're the inhaler. <laughs> It was amazing. How that did was... I forget that? That is such a journey. Right. And, yeah. and Steve, you're Steve, you're high. So what was that like for you? I wanted to clear a video of the year. <laughs> Whoa. I kept thinking it was going to end. And then it kept going. It was like that too many chefs thing. Yeah. Too, many cooks. <laughs> too many cooks. Too many cooks. That's the one. I want to say uh, Brian um, Argo sent that in and said, hey, I just had to send this to you because I was watching videos on how to do antique radio repair and I stumbled across it. So oh. it had just a, a random origin story. Oh boy! So the, thing that, the thing that I'm worried about is that that's George's future. Like you're gonna you're gonna start making videos like that, not anytime soon, but like in like 25 I, hey, years from now. If I get married in any of these timelines, it's much more optimistic than I have <laughs> than I was imagining. So okay. sure, you, bring it on. You, you and wifey could go down yeah. to the hey. okay. yeah. yeah. Joe, what about you? Do you have a contender? I mean, top that. Oh, I mean, God, I I, I hate going last because these are all just perfect. Of cyber videos uh but i went with uh clue to kinesis remember the uh so uh the tim harrod bastard tapes host and uh regular contributor of uh, vcr party sent me this one it was a youtube video didn't have a lot of views but it's this guy looking up at the clouds he calls them cludes and he's doing like telekinesis to make the clouds disappear and Wow, it's just it, it's it's just so good, and I've never seen anything like it. And uh, we'll see, we'll see how it holds up against these other uh, strong contenders. But here's a clue to kinesis from Tim. Hey, it's another cloud control video by T Chase. This one is in October 2021. This is where I try to control clouds with my psychic powers. As I do this, I have to kind of chant to focus the psychic energy. A couple of clouds up here. See this small cloud? I'll focus on this one. I'm going to try to just make this small cloud disappear using psychic powers. Clear disappear. Clear disappear. Try to make the small cloud disappear. Mm, clear disappear. Mm. Blue sky, clear disappear. It's working. Clear disappear. Well, Trying to make the cloud disappear. It's been a wisp of a cloud. cloud. It's disappearing. Clear disappear. Clear disappear. Mm, clear. Mm, clear disappear.
So it has some tedium elements that I really appreciate about that. But also it uh, it had some legs because uh, Liz uh, of Melinda Mixer uh, wrote in and uh, sent an email and said, hey, I made a, a song uh, where, where I sampled that that guy doing his clue to Kenosis. And uh, here's how that song went. It's a real toe tapper. It's a good one. Cleo disappears. Cleo disappear. Cleo finish. Cleo disappear. Cleo disappear. Blue sky. Cleo disappear. Cleo disappear. Cleo disappear. Cleo finish. So I don't know. I I like that it had uh, that it had some legs and that. Uh, yeah. You know that uh, it resonated with people, and that uh, song is a total t toe tapper. I want a full version of that. I want like verses and all that. So uh, anyway, uh, that's my contender for Cyber Video of the Year. How do we do this? How do we just determine a winner? I think it's got to be. I don't know. I mean, I I will say that I'm willing to concede. Lingerie paints a clown. Lingerie lady paints a clown. To phonograph, only because. That one is more uh, organically found, whereas Video Poison had already selected that clip from the lingerie lady. I mean, it's a perfect clip. And I, right. and if I found it on my own, I would be like, this is not only the cyber video of the year, it's the best video I've ever made. But, you know, the, the phonograph is, is uniquely ours. Well, well, also Clue to Kinesis is, though, too. Yeah, that's true. You know, too. like that's uh, also, there's no views on that one either. So, uh, and in uh, Steve's, I love Steve's, but I feel like that was probably like a big, like it probably has millions of views, right? I'm sure it does. I don't remember now, but I'm sure it does. But in any in any case, I am all in on the uh, phonograph guy. Okay, I think I could be, yeah, I could be persuaded because because that one is like they should offer classes on that video. Yeah, because it just, goes so many places. The journey, yeah, I'd forgotten how good that one was. I I totally forgot about that too. So George. I think I'm prepared to name that cyber video of the year. Is everybody I'm, cool with that one? I'm ready to. I'm prepared. I'm totally prepared. Yep. Wow. Especially because I, I, I forgot about it. I'm so glad that you like reminded me of this. There's so much stuff that just one year out the other. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. that is why we do these uh, at the end of every year. And that is uh, cyber video of the year. Well, Joe, it's your birthday. I think it's time to open some nice things. So uh, my brother's a writer, and uh, he. Uh, so, you, are you familiar with the the TV show that came out last summer called Joe Pickett? It's a yeah, it's a show called My First Name and My Last Name. Joe Pickett is the title of the show. Um, here's uh, here's what it looks like. It, it, as soon as this show came out, people were uh, texting me and sending me emails saying like, the, "What the hell's going on with this? Your first and last name is." the name of this tv show and it's about this park ranger and i don't know it's kind of like a texas uh, walker texas ranger kind of a thing i watched one episode it's so bad but it's based on a book series by this guy named cj box and uh my brother had the idea he's like here's what you got to do you got to write a book called cj box since you're joe pickett <laughs> You write a book called CJ Box. Yeah. And, and then I and I ran with that idea and we, we talked about it further and it was just like, OK, but we'll call it I'll, I'll call it CJ Box. But then it'll be by Joe Pickett, because like, why, why can he use my name, but I can't use his. Right. And that uh, exactly. exactly. I think that's how it works. Mm -hmm. So here, here's what uh, I wanted to do. It's like so the book will be called CJ Box. That's the title. But we'll call it by Joe Pickett. So then people will think that it's a new book from the Joe Pickett series, right. but really it's by Joe Pickett and we'll get some accidental sales. We'll put it up on Amazon and we'll get some accidental sales and it might be our ticket out of this hellhole. Well, maybe so, even some Melinda graphic designers could make a, a cover that looks convincing. Uh, you, you're saying that's not uh that that's not a good uh, one that no, I made that no, I whipped no, no, together. No, I'm sorry, I didn't realize this was the final. But no, yeah, this is fine. Yeah. This no, is this is this is just uh, something I whipped together. Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, no, I think that's a great idea. And so Alex, actually, he, he he I think he did it as a writing exercise. He thought he would do it as a joke. He wrote it as a joke for two weeks. He spent writing, you know, hundreds of pages or you know, like an actual book, and uh, he included uh, you guys. So. Uh, 
Joe Pickett is the park range or uh, CJ Box. I play CJ Box. My sidekick Nick Nick Pruer is, is there, and then George and Steve are also in it. He actually wrote this. Like he spent two weeks. He wrote an entire book in two weeks. Whoa! I just saw him in London uh, uh, last week, and he actually wrote this whole thing. And uh, so he actually has it finished. So I'm wondering, like, maybe we can sell it on our store. Yeah, he he actually said that, like, after a while, he started to like the story and he might change it around and, uh, you know, uh, and make it a legitimate story because he actually had fun writing it and actually something good came out of it. Um, but I think that this is our ticket out of this hellhole. So uh, anyway, yeah. uh, that that's what he got me for my birthday. Uh, he wrote me a novel. Um, oh. The same thing yeah. happened with D Charles Dickens. Uh, he, there was an, a novel named Charles Dickens by a guy named Oliver Twist, and you know <laughs> mm -hmm. that was his ticket out of the hellhole. So exactly, there is All precedent right. for this. If it, if it worked for him, it can work for me. Well, you know, there's always like whenever like Toy Story comes out, then there's always like a Toy Story comes out. So I like the idea of of the confusion marketing. Uh, I think we could get some sales outside of the viewership yeah, of this show. Yeah, because this this whole found footage VCR party thing it's not working out. So no, uh, no, I, I think I, th I think we should do more confusion sales. Okay, all yeah. right, that's our Go next phase in our careers going forward. Um, I want to play this video that uh, Farmer Dan sent me. He made this specifically for me. It's an hour long, and uh, it's a. So you're familiar with uh, Joe's Tedium Corner? Yeah, I'm familiar with that. Yeah, okay. I've heard so of it. I, I made I made a graphic for Joe's Tedium Corner, and he took it, he made it an hour long. He looped it, made it an hour long. So this is how we know the song to, to go, right? We all remember this. But now, I'm just going to scrub through. And as you go along, different speeds. It slows down as it goes on longer and longer. It gets progressively more tedious. Exactly. Oh, wait. Steve's mind is being blown right now. Wow. It's my deathbed soundtrack. <laughs> to Steve, this sounds normal speed. Steve's like, yeah, what's the big deal? It's a great song. <laughs> Why is it speeding up? Be playing in the back of the PS1 uh, MoMA Art Museum in like a darkened room. Kind of go in and be like, yeah, okay, I think I get it. Let's see what else is. <laughs> Let's see what else is. <laughs> you ready to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is the best present I've ever received. Well, other than the novel, I got a novel. Is this hour one of the uh, or whatever you called it? The artifacting of the digital. Wow. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, Farmer Dan. That was that was very thoughtful, and nice. You're not gonna believe the surprise ending. You gotta watch it all the way through. Maybe that should be our outro song. <laughs> uh, that's true. But I the do want to hear Baby Goo Goo again. Okay. Um. So why don't you open? I've got two gifts for you there. Um. They're both sort of related. But, okay, uh, yeah. it's gonna be better than you smoking pot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I gotta say, I've been washing my hands at this all show, and I am just seeing <laughs> colors right now. It's uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> all right, I just opened this up. It looks like it's a uh, sweatshirt of some sort. Oh, oh, is that a what does it say? Oh, Wisconsin Dells. Okay, yeah, yeah I like this a lot. Those are my colors. Um, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. It mm. looks like looks like it might 
your size. It looks, oh, it's, uh, and it's my size and it's my colors too. Yeah. yeah, I think it might be a woman's shirt, but like, uh, it doesn't matter. I no. will absolutely wear that. So thank but you. Very I know. Much. I know the question is then. Well, what are you going to wear during the summer? And that's the next gift might answer that question. Okay. All right. I'm sure, that's it's good for day to day use in the winter. It smells like Febreze. It really smells like Febreze. Uh, for Joe to be opened on birthday episode. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is my summer wear. Yeah. Then? All right. Oh, muscle shirt. You know me all too well. There we go. What's it say? Spring bait. Wisconsin Dells. Oh, this is <laughs> and, awesome. With a stain Adidas. on it. Yeah, and a stain, and it's a, and it's Adidas too for some reason. So. Oh wow! Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. They threw the Adidas. I don't think Adidas probably put this out. <laughs> I don't right? know. I don't I think, think so. I think yeah. The, whoever's at the souvenir shop just tossed it on there. But yeah, the stain probably was from the wearer, the former wearer I'm, of this shirt. I'm sure right? it was. Yeah. yeah which mean, means yeah. you know it doesn't matter what you eat wearing that thing. It's uh, camouflaged. So. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'll definitely. I'm definitely gonna wear both of these. So, uh, yeah. That, that makes up that's that's as good as you smoking pot and getting stoned on the show and not being able to like get through uh uh get through uh talking the intro to nice things for example <laughs> <laughs> george what did you get joe you had something for him yeah joe i got you the cryptid crate monthly subscription it'll be a box of yeah. weird cryptids uh like uh you'll get um t-shirts that will be hard to explain like mantis oh. man and like books and figures and things like that. Uh, nice. These aren't the ones, the Flatwoods monster. Um, yeah, you know, things like that. Things that when you wait, from weird people will come up and start talking to you. So, so it's wait, a gift each, that gives you around. Each month I get a, I get a box full of, of nice full things? Of, yes. Okay. Yes. All so right. That, that helps it. you with, with the nice things segment. Too. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'll have plenty of uh, nice things to wear. Thank you, the guys. The comic really found called found footage, or did you doctor that? Wait, what? The comic? Can you go back to the comic? Me? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's in the gifts. I think we're starting to see Steve's uh, presence uh, come to fruition. Oh, oh, oh wow! I, I didn't, like I didn't on, even notice that, I but uh, like yeah, they were picking right up on things. <laughs> extra sensory. Oh no, he's right. Yeah. The words found footage appear that. here. Oh, Steve, you're on Steve, you're point. sharper. Steve, yeah. you're sharper with weed. I feel like, you know, like Seth Rogen, his whole thing is like smoking weed and everything. And like he writes like million dollar screenplays every single week. So like, it, Steve, maybe this is. I'm maybe you've been doing it wrong the desk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think that maybe you should start. Uh, well, I'm sitting to there to, I'm trying inside. to figure out whether George punked you and like created this elaborate box and whether it was inside jokes from Saturday morning. <laughs> That's what's running through my head. And then That's too much work. Footage. But I love what you're thinking. I mean, it is a reference to the Bigfoot Conference Northwest a little bit, I would think. Yes, so, yeah. absolutely. What if uh, what if George didn't actually get that for me? And like he just knew that I would forget about it? <laughs> it's on the show. It's so I'm wait, just waiting for you show. to ask in about 30 days. And then if you ask, I'll get it. Uh, all right. Nice gifts. Thank you for all the nice things. I'm going to wear all of them uh, constantly. And uh, Steve, thank you for getting stoned for me. I appreciate that. You took one for the team there. Um, good, good episode. I just want to quickly mention that if you're a Patreon backer at the $10 and up uh, level, uh, this is another extension of your birthday. We're going to have our buddy Tom, our childhood friend, who, Joe, you've known since fourth grade and well, I've also since sixth grade. His birthday is the same day as mine. That's so, right. Like, yeah, yeah Jan, it's today, January 17th. Yeah. So uh, we'll celebrate together this Thursday by uh, for bonus uh, uh, Patreon backers. We're going to watch the episode of Small Wonder where um, they smoke, they try cigarettes. And we talked about this on the Kyle Mooney finale of uh, Saturday Morning Cartoons, the Brave Star episode. So we thought, hey, it's in the ether. Let's watch that episode. I was thinking about watching it outside because I, I have a backyard with a, a Wi-Fi extender. And I was thinking about smoking during that entire episode. Well, let's go to Steve's house and do it. Can we? Is it okay if we smoke in there? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, well, can we talk to your doorman about that? Yeah, we'll talk to. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk to the dog about it? <laughs> what dog? The dog that that took an interest in Steve. Now who's high? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Distracting the door. I don't actually listen to things, George. <laughs> um, all right. What are we? You want to go out on Baby Goo Goo, our IMG winner of 2022? 
that's my personal vote, but I, it's your birthday. What do you want to go out on? I think that we should go out on that. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Uh, I do have a birthday tradition. I have a traditional birthday song that I like to go out on. Um, can we go out on both? Sure. Okay. All right. We'll go with the traditional birthday song first, and then uh, we'll say our goodbyes, um, and then we'll, uh, yeah, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Just mouth opened, just like ready to attack. This is the outro yeah. song? <laughs> Look at why didn't you pers- were we were you going to French? Was that this the plan? was the note the note you gave me after doing a little oh, closed mouth kiss is no, you gotta open your mouth, do it. I didn't <laughs> think that uh thirty years later you'd be using it as ammunition weekly on the internet show. Oh Did me McKenna did that title at the end there too. So it's nice. All right. All right. Now let's go out on the real song, which is the winner of uh 2022 Baby Goo Goo, uh (laughs) Luciano, Mia, the whole gang, (laughs) Baby Goo Goo, and the crazy lady. Uh here's the thing. Happy birthday to me. And uh if I had been prepared, I could have done better. We'll be right back right after these birthday messages. Uh these birthday messages. Happy birthday, Joe. Everybody is a puppet when they're dead. Hello, all you beautiful slices. When we return, Dr. Selner will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all. That's it. Let me see that one. Rocks are done. Gotta sleep. Bye. That's it. That had it done. We did our best. If we'd been prepared, we could have done better. What do you think about Bibra? About what? In a... My not there for yuck anymore. Ooh. That's all I'm doing. Sure you do Tinkerbell! We'll be right back right after that. And Kurt Polster, the real great guy. Night, night. <laughs> Goodbye. Jim's coins in Hilda. Steve, did you really get stoned? I'm super stoned. Are you serious? Really? Oh my god. Uh, like there were numerous points where you could just ask me a question I had like no idea what was going on 